many parts of India, schools are opening up to winds of change. This is a result of a concerted endeavour aimed at improving the quality of primary education by leveraging learnings drawn from globally identified best practices. Partnering with seven Indian states, Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Delhi, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh and Odisha, exchange of international best practices leading to innovation in Sarp Shiksha Abhiyan reflects the Government of India's commitment to make India's primary education environment more inclusive, the teaching more qualitative and school systems better managed. It also mirrors the concern that a large number of children in the age group of 6 to 14 are still unable to receive their legislative right to relevant quality education. Launched under the auspices of the Ministry of Human Resource Development and funded by the European Union, exchange of international best practices leading to innovation in Sarv Shiksha Abhiyan is being implemented by Save the Children under the guidance of the National University for Educational Planning and Administration. The project is just a beginning, I should say, in, the, in which we have been able to expose uh, many uh, state-level administrators uh, and practitioners to what is happening elsewhere in the world and bring those practices and experiences and integrate that into our own education system also. The project has three core strands of capacity building which draw on the shared canvas of bringing about decentralization and accountability in the primary school system. These three strands are teacher cadre management, school-based management and inclusive practices. Teacher cadre management involves leadership and mentoring capacity across jurisdictions and most importantly training of school principals not only as organizational administrators but also as educational and community leaders in challenging contexts. School-based management to build the capacity of education personnel and communities to be responsive to the needs of schools within a decentralized management. By engaging key stakeholders, the project is supporting new models of high-quality pre- and in-service teacher training in the country. The last trend, inclusive practices, concentrates on improving educational and social outcomes for all students, cutting across geographies, culture, caste, class, social and economic conditions, including children with disabilities. As a pilot, Save the Children in collaboration with State Education Department and its NGO partners is developing 450 model learner-friendly environments. Capacity building of 1,350 teachers within these schools has also been undertaken. This, I think, is, is really bringing about a revolution because so far we have been looking at enrollment in schools and today the, there is a shift in focus of the states towards ensuring that there is quality equitable education and therefore these initiatives really form, I think, basically the heart of bringing about quality in schools. As part of the project, a research study on international productive practices by Institute of Education London has been published, along with two national-level research studies, School Management for Quality Inclusive Education and Decentralized School Governance and Teacher Recruitment, Training, Management, Performance on School and Teacher Management. Based on the research on international productive practices, study visits to UK, Finland, Thailand, and Australia were organized for national and state level officials from nine states of India. These study visits aim to give them first-hand field level experience of best practices on the three strands of the project. Through uh, exchange of international best practices uh, anchored by the uh, Save the Children in collaboration of, uh, with the uh, European Union, uh, we uh, sent our people to United Kingdom where they you know, saw the international best practices. People also un undertook trainings and they got orientation on uh, various issues which affect the quality uh, of education in the schools. Looking at the state-specific context in the light of research findings and study visits, state governments have developed reform proposals and have made efforts to ensure sustainability of their reform initiatives. 
45 officials from MHRD, NCERT, NOEPA and Project States have already received training in the UK to take forward these reform proposals. The leadership training was organised in University of Edinburgh, Scotland and National College of School Leadership, Nottingham, England. Training on standards was facilitated by Institute of Education, London and inclusive practices was facilitated by Centre for Studies on Inclusive Education, CSIE, Bristol. The delegates arrived in Nottingham for six weeks of intensive leadership training programme. The learning that came from those visits to those schools uh, has been incorporated and you can see it emerging as a theme through the delegates' plans. Continuing the productive exchange of ideas, an international conference on transforming schools for quality education was organised during April 2013 in New Delhi. It facilitated the creation of a platform for academics, education experts and officials from India and four other countries to dialogue and exchange ideas on education reforms from across the world. Along with experiences, information on the reform initiatives being undertaken by the project states was also shared during the conference. This particular forum has brought together these experts, have brought practitioners together, uh, people who are really on the ground and people who have uh, global experience. And I think we put together a wonderful set of uh, learnings which we hope that we will now take forward and see them implemented in the schools across the country. There is a new dream in many eyes. There is a new glow of hope and there is a glow of knowledge. By creating an inventory of international best practices that can be researched, revised and implemented at the ground level, exchange of international best practices leading to innovation in Sarv Shiksha Abhiyan is making a huge difference to so many lives. It is playing a unique role in truly fulfilling India's vision of education for all. And this is just the beginning.